let's try to solve the Bible converse one fifty one. Uh, I'll try to solve each and every problem. Let's check out. So the first problem is find the sort of numbers which appear twice. So let's check out this problem. This should be easy. Okay, this is time out. Replace the page. Nums uh, the each number in the array appears classic mode will be better. I like the classic mode. Why is this not happening? Okay. So you are given an array nums uh, where each number in the array uh, appears either once or twice. Return the between sort of all the elements that appear. Sort of all elements. I don't want to complicate over complicate. Let's take one map of frequency and iterate over all the elements uh, in the norms. Frequency of i plus plus and uh, the twice in the array. Okay, and our answer. One zero three. Let's check out the answer. One zero three. So let's submit it. It's accepted. Now let's jump into the other problems. The second problem. Let's try out the second problem. Also going on, I think so. There should be lesser people, but I don't know why it is taking so long. So this is open now. Now let's try the second problem. Find occurrences of an element in an array. I think that will be opening in a new tab will be better. Uh, let's try out. So uh, you are given an integer array nums and integer uh, array queries and an integer array. Uh, for each queries i, uh, you need to find the index of the queries i. Uh, what is i the occurrence of x in nums? So let's check out um, the example. So nums is one three one seven. Queries is one three two four. Occurrence of x in the nums. We will uh, so first occurrence of one is first occurrence is of one is zero. So the answer is Hard occurrence of one. Uh, there are only two occurrence of one, so the answer is minus one. Got it. So second occurrence. I think this is also quite straightforward. Uh, we just have to you know, find all the indices of the specific x. Okay. I think this is also straightforward. Uh, we will take two integer array, two vectors. So one is uh, for index indices. The second one will be our answer. We will iterate over. Uh, all the elements in the uh, in the norm array, and we'll add only those indices which are uh, the x, which are the parent element x. Okay, if norm i is equals to equals to x, that means the parent element is x. We'll add uh, the index index of the element in the indices vector. Okay, and 
and we will now integrate over all the fields in the uh, answer dot put that if uh, the query size uh, the first operation is if uh, the query size This is dot size uh, less than uh, this is dot size less than i this is less than i then we can see t less than equals to i uh, when the answer is possible the length is less than equals to i if the length is greater than equals to i then the answer is Add uh, in the interest of i minus one, we will add minus one, and then we are returning the answer. If we should, if n is less than equal to i, compile it, we should add i have. Zero minus one two one and six minus one is zero two is zero. This is also accepted now. This size are no problem. Find the number of listing colors among the balls. Okay. You are given an integer as limit. Uh, even integer limit and a 2D array queries okay, in cross two level limit plus one balls with distinct levels uh, in the range 0, comma limit. Initially, all balls are uncolored for every query in queries that uh, is inform inform a y to mark the ball with color uh, ball x with color y. After each query, you need to find the number of distinct colors among the balls. Okay, return an array result of length n. Where result i denotes the number of distinct colors after i query. So what is this? limit means uh, there are five balls. So limit four means there are five balls. So usually we are marking the first ball with both colors. So this is I think this is also straightforward. Initially we will have to mention our frequency array and another integer distinct. Okay, so I think that is the case. Uh, I I think got it. I think uh, this will be. Initially, all the balls is zero, so we'll add frequency of zero equals to limit plus one, and we'll iterate over the queries. Now, uh, we'll have what are the number? The distinct number of balls. Distinct number of balls are one. So, uh, what we have to print? We have to uh, return after every operation what are the distinct number of balls, right? So, we'll just take a vector of each answer. So, uh, we will mark the Q0th ball to Q1, right? So we are marking the Q0th ball Q1. So also, uh, we have to uh, maintain one vector, right? What is the limit? Limit is 10 to the power 9. So let's say, okay, the frequency, we only have to maintain the frequency. So that's not the case. So uh, the frequency of the ball is changing, but the number of queries tend to be 5 so we can also maintain what is the color of the current ball ok so color let's also maintain one color so uh, initially all color of all the balls are 0 so current color so let's say current color will be uh, color of the current ball so it will be um, color of um, color of Current color is color of Q0. Now we are changing the color to next color to Q1. So uh, we'll do x. Um, we'll do frequency of current color minus minus current color minus minus. Now uh, if the frequency of the current color becomes zero, so this frequency of 
side select is equal to equal to zero, then the number of missing balls will be replaced by one. Okay. Now we will uh, we'll increase the frequency of next color by one. Change the color of the parent ball. Frequency of color of two zero. Color of two zero to uh, next color. Then we can go and enter dot replace the number of missing balls. In this run, the answer. So this should work. And if there are no selling mistakes, check out. Compile error. Frequency is declared uh, here. Where is frequency declared? Here is frequency declared. Okay. Another admin mistake. Okay, list one one zero zero. Check out. One two two three. One two two three. Okay. Got stuck. Things got stuck. Refresh the page. Refresh something. Refresh the page. Now run code again. Two three three four. Mm, two three three four. Let's check out. After two three four, ball one has color four. Make sure all balls are uncolored. So uh, all balls are initially uncolored. Uncolored means okay. So this is one case. You don't have to consider the color of the zero ball. Okay. Since your parent color is zero, zero and parent color should be the same. Why we are doing this? Because uh, we don't have to consider uh, the zero color. One two two three. One two two three four. Let's check out. I think this should work. Let me see again. Again, the page got stuck. Or what? This page is getting stuck. I don't know. Yeah, it is accepted. Now let's jump back to the contest. Uh, let's try the fourth problem. Block placement queries. I think this will be some fish segmentary or something like that. So there exists an infinite number line uh, with its origin zero and extending towards the positive x-axis. You are given a 2D array queries with, with which contains two type of queries. For a query of type one, queries i equals to one comma x. Build an obstacle at distance x from the origin. It is granted that there is no obstacle at distance x when the query is asked. Build an obstacle at distance x from the origin. It is granted that there is no obstacle at distance x when the query is asked. For any query of type two, take if it is possible to place a block of i uh, in space anywhere in the range zero to x. What does it mean? Uh, such that the block is entirely lies within the range 0, x. A block cannot be placed if it is interested to place any obstacle. But it may touch it. Note that you do not actually place the block where you separate. I think I got it. So we just just what we have to pick from between 0 to x, what is the maximum distance? So when we are placing some obstacle, placing when we are placing some obstacle. Then we are separating out two ranges. The uh, constants are quite also 
frightening. So it is it is in twenty to four. What type of constant it is? Ten to the power five we can tell you. There is at least one video of that who got it. So, okay. So initially there is one comma. Uh, what is the maximum value here? So initially is in the number line. So this is uh, there is no oscillator, so this is not. So what is the maximum value? Uh, maximum value of size is five into ten to the power four, and maximum value of width is also five into ten to the power four. Can take ten to the five. One into ten to the five. We can say one ten to the five. So when we are placing the obstacle, we are dividing them into two parts: one, two, three, and x to ten to the five. And when uh, we are placing another obstacle, uh, then we are again dividing it in uh, two parts: x to y and y to ten to the five, like that. Let's say if we have some query now at uh, this point, then we are we are trying to think what is the max. Interval present. Okay. So, do you want to either one to x or x to r? Let's say that is the question. Now, how we can solve this? Just one example only. One, two. They are placing at one obstacle at two. Now they are going. If we can place the little ball because uh, the maximum range is two. So somehow we have to find what is the maximum range present. So one to n. So just one to uh, n. Uh, one uh, thing I can think about uh, this type of problem is uh, if we can solve the problem from the back. So initially uh, we'll put all the type one queries and after that we'll mark the interval. That is one possible uh, way to solve the problem. So, uh, yeah. Instead of getting the answer. How will it help? How will it help us? How will it help us? How will it help us? One 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 minus two. If we add minus two here, then the sum will be zero. One idea I can think of is that if we maximum some subarray with doublet, maximum some subarray with doublet. So initially let's say uh, everything is one, 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 one. Then again when we are updating, we are making it minus two. So this will not help. Maximum, uh, it is split. The split is easy, but uh, we have to find the maximum uh, split less than something. Maximum split less than something. How are we going to achieve that? Maximum split less than something. How we are going to achieve that?
your margin is If we are solving from forward or solving from backward, it is not making much difference at all. Uh, because if you find the maximum equation, less than equal to something, then the maximum is less than equal to something, how will you do that? You can choose to some segment grid, but you have to update uh, multiple positions.
all the spaces that have been sending the error like this way. This one is gone, this is gone, and this one. Now we have a query that uh, like this. We will add like uh, all the space like this. So we have this one, this one, this one. So this is one. Then our answer will be three. We'll take the maximum. Margin. How will we do give a margin function? So we have margin function. How will we handle that? Let's check how many people have solved the problem already. So this is the above 100. Only 7 people. If we have an obstacle like this, we have to fail. file here uh, somehow clicking in and working like this type of questions when we have to find uh, maximum value less than equal to something that's what we have to find maximum value less than equal to something and uh, we take the last uh, partition and take the uh, part delay like maximum uh, partition value less than equal to We are, we are making another partition at 5. So we are marking this as uh, how we are going to mark this. That's one question. So uh, let's say we are finding the the sum in the range. The sum in the range minus n. So the sum in the range is 2 and we are getting a string. And we will update uh, the value at the end of this as uh, We have to add one segment B to find something less than equals to A. So uh, max in this range, max in this range plus uh, we have to add uh, sum of this range, sum of A minus A. And of, and of that we have to do. Yeah. That's the, that, that's the way to solve this, but uh, you have to copy the segmentary code uh, from somewhere. Mm. 
let's copy the segmentary uh, we will need two segmentaries right one will be for uh, summing the values and one will be for max one will be for summing the value and another one will be for maximum yeah i think so one will be for summing and another one will be for maximum so let me copy the segmentary code so i have copied uh, the code of segment 3 from my repo uh, one is big sum another one is big max but i am not fully sure it will work because i have not saved i have, I have modified some part of the code um, and i have not used this uh, classes from long time so i hope it will work but we have to we might have to fix some of the code here now uh, what we are going to do we will iterate over the queries so let's iterate over the queries. Okay, so what uh, we thought is that um, let's see when we are adding something at A, we'll find the uh, we'll also need something, right? When we are adding something in the X position, in this position we are adding one partition. We are, we'll be, we'll, we are finding the sum till this, so it will be. Uh, 5 and the index of this is 5, 6, 7, 7. So we'll add 2 here, but also we have to modify the next position. Next position of this. What do we say next position of this? We have to modify the next position also. No? Hmm. How we are going to achieve that? Okay, we will also have to maintain one set contain, uh, containing indices. If not, initially it will contain only one in five. <clears throat> initially it will contain one in five. Now uh, I have to check if the format is in one based indexing or zero based indexing. I think it is one based indexing. It's one based indexing. Okay. So. Um, Query type will be uh, one or two. Because type is equals to two zero. If type equals to two one, we have to find the sum to this point. Okay. So uh, okay, we have to initialize uh, segment trees also. Big max if uh, this one uh, if in and uh, big sum. So what we have to do? Uh, we have to find the sum till x. Yeah, we have to find the sum till x. So let's say integer sum is equal to integer dot query. This is what is the function query? Query uh, from one to uh, this position to two one. Now we have to fi also find the index, the next index. So uh, let's uh, find that integer index equals to uh, is dot uh, dot lower bound of q1. Index is dot lower bound of q1 will give us uh, the index. I hope so. I hope so. Now what we have to do? We have to update. We have to update uh, both segment three. Let me pick the update function here. Yeah, and these are updating perfectly. So, uh, what we have to do? Uh, sum we need to update uh, so both segment trees, right? Uh, is this dot update? What position we are going to update? We are going to update this current index. So, let's call it q1. Uh, update function takes what? Update function takes index and value only. So uh, q1 comma uh, what is the next parameter value? What will be the value? Value will be nothing but uh, uh, our q1 minus sum. I think so. And also we have to update. Hmm. Our index uh, the next let's call it next next by what? Uh, next equals to 
x equals to will be minus minus two one two. Uh, yeah, similarly thing for our segment max. Our segment max is working at this in the same way, right? We hope so. There is no update function for this module. And this update up. So this is what now this is that is true. Now the interesting part is the that is true. Let's uh okay we have we have not inserted one but we have to insert two one. Hmm. We have to also have the Also have the filter of Boolean. Filter of Boolean. Uh, filter of Boolean answer. Now, what will happen? We have to find the max till x. We have to find the max till x and sum till x. Okay. Uh, so, uh, integer max till x. Seven six okay. So max till x max. Let's call it max equals to our segment max dot uh, query. Segment max query takes two parameter query two s and two n. So one comma x. And uh, we we'll have also have to take the sum. So sum equals to s is dot query one comma Max t equals to max of max t comma x minus sum uh, answer dot push back max t equals to uh, uh, what is t? The second parameter is uh, what is the block size? The block size is the third parameter. So we have to replace uh, if t is our q1. And we have to replace this with Q2. And we uh, have to return the answer. Let's check. Let's check. Compile error. Compile error will happen at least 10 times. I'm guessing. Again, the compile error. Query is a private number. So let's we have to declare everything as public. We will declare everything as public. We don't care. It is public or private. We are not making some uh, fraud code here. This time it is uh, runtime error, and runtime errors are dangerous. Uh, there is some issue in our update up function in the big max. Some issue in the big max update function. What could be the issue? What could be the issue? Let's try to think. Uh, let's try to add some debug statements. I think. Let's add keyword here. You can skip this part. It might be boring because I might need some time in debugging. So this is just incrementing without doing anything. This should not happen because I think I have used the max function somewhere. Increment. One also try to print S and V here. I think S and V are not getting modified.
then I'd have to break the code. Uh, so I'm uh, pausing the record for some time. So I guess um, the problem is uh, the wrong initialization of update up. Now. So here update are in calling is this is the V index and val, and here our sigmax is uh, calling ESC index not val. ESC index not val. So this is the index, and this will be one. And I think this should work now. Minus one e and two is um, out of the range of int. So let's return minus one e nine from here. Don't have to care about minus one e eighteen. False true 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 false. This 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 false true 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 false. Hope it is working. Let's try to submit this wrong answer. So we got one wrong answer. So why is this wrong answer? Um, one one two four three. Output is false. Let's check uh, what our uh, these values are giving us. We will just just take this test uh, only. Invalid test case because we are passing one empty string. Our our Sum is nine 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 triple. Something is horribly wrong. Nine. Uh, why is like this? Why is it like this? Sum is sum is wrong, right? Sum is wrong. Is this dot update q1 q1 minus sum? Let's print a sum here also. I think there's something wrong in our code on. Uh, what is our next? I think it should be Q1 plus one, right? Not Q1. Q1 minus sum. One zero two. So we are updating uh, in the fast index q1 minus sum. So we are updating uh, one. One. There is something wrong in our uh, seek sum itself, right? We are, uh, because we are getting uh, our sum as this nine. Okay, query up is messing us up. It's true now. One one four. It is. It, this is right. I think this is wrong, right? 
motion blurs free. Q Q one is for that sum one. Max P is our what? False, true, 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 false, and true. Let's submit this. Yes, this is accepted. Yeah, this is over. 